Uh, first, we are going to Kona, and uh, I want to welcome someone who's been an incredible community advocate uh, and voice and keeping people informed, especially during a time of crisis, uh, Sherry Bracken. Thank you so much for joining us on the call today. Oh, well, thank you so much for saying nice things, and welcome back from Alaska. It's good to have you back in the state. Thank you. Thanks. Um, you know, I I wanted to ask about the stepping down of the new contact tracing head, Dr. Emily Roberson, and what the state needs to do to move forward, which you've kind of answered, but I'd be interested in Dr. Miskovich's and, you know, anybody else's input. And then if Dr. Miskovich could give us some information about the testing they've been doing here on the island, how many tests he thinks they've done at this point, what kind of results they're seeing, that would be really helpful because as you probably know, right now today we have 217 active cases on the Big Island and that is just in the last two weeks it has gone up from like 20 to 217. So we're in a world of scariness here. Yeah, thanks, um, Sherry. Uh, before I pass it to Scott, I just want to say the solution is very simple. To to make it so that Dr. Roberson can do her job is is get Dr. Sarah Park out of there and have Dr. Roberson report directly to the new interim uh, director of the Department of Health. Go ahead, Scott. Great. Thank you. Yeah, and aloha, Sherry. It's um, it's good to hear your voice and uh and thanks for all you do for the Big Island, because you've been a longtime voice of honesty to the Big Island. Um, I have Thank a lot you. of um, positives that I want to say, uh, but first, the answer is one of the very concerning things about the Big Island is if you look at the doubling, I mean, we're actually seeing some some day after day where the number of positive cases are doubling. And um, that's very concerning. The percent positivity, which is always something that we are concerned about, which is a percentage of tests that you take, and then what percentage of those are positive is also increasing significantly. So uh, DeWolf will be able to talk about that uh, because, you know, those are very those are very foreboding numbers when it comes to trying to determine what the future looks like. That also is a uh, indication of the fact that you are not testing enough. When you see a percent positivity going up that rapidly, then you know that there are that many more people that are positive, and then you it, you know you have to expand your testing. The second issue is we're seeing a lot of clusters, and they are in very dangerous areas. As everyone knows, we're seeing them in nursing homes, we're seeing them in dialysis centers, they're, they're very broad. We're seeing them in some of our Pacific Island uh, uh, areas where we have um, people that are having a harder time. And so they're going through our group living situations, which are very common in, in, in different regions on the Big Island. So bottom line is we all saw where we were on Oahu six weeks ago when the congresswoman and myself and other people were, were sounding the alarm that it was time to shut the state down and we were calling for change in leadership. We are now basically on the precipice of that position now on the big island to to stop it. Now I'm gonna I'm sorry I'm taking the time but this is really important. I have been personally talking to Mayor Kim probably for the last ten days and he has asked us as premier to go ahead and to significantly increase the number of strike teams we have. And he essentially wants to have two sets of teams going seven days a week throughout the big Island. And we're going to be working with his, I'm working right through the mayor himself, right through his managing director, um, the emergency services. And I'm going to give a huge shout out to the new university of Washington physician assistance program. All the PAs are over there and they are going to be mobilized as essential health care workers. So we're going to have 16 well-trained medical people that are going to join our strike teams beginning training tomorrow. We'll be testing the following day. Plus, we have another 12 people with our premier group that are testing. So we're going to have 30 strike team members that will be managing two to three teams. And we're going to hit every corner of the Big Island seven days a week. And the mayor has just said, it's time to move. He's going to use CARES Act money to make sure it is being done the right way. And um, I'm very pleased to be working with him and honored. And I think um, the, big, the people of the Big Island should be looking for now very broad access to testing. 
And as we've started out, we said, that's the way we do it. We need the Big Island to be tested. We need people to be identified. If we do this well in the next two to three weeks, we are going to be able to identify people and start to turn that curve. Excellent. Thank you so, so much. Do you have the numbers yet of how many have been tested? Um, I, and what, my group, and what you're seeing? My, yeah, my group right now for the last two and a half weeks, we've been testing anywhere from five, from 400 to 800 a day. And I know there's other testing going on. So that, so it's, it's quite significant the amount of tests that we're doing in different processes. And some of them, you know, we're getting, I mean, there's never less than 400 at any site we're putting up right now. So I think you can, I don't have the exact number, but if you do the math on that, that will give you an idea. Uh, that there's a significant increase in the testing, and we need to do more. So that's what this plan is. What's the percent positive? Um, uh, keeps... Scott, let me jump in here, Scott, Please, because I just got Thanks. off the phone with with some uh, some of this. Uh, uh, Scott, Dr. Miskovic, hey. I, yes, I just want to add to it, uh, if you don't mind, uh, because there was a earlier today and actually uh, yesterday we were talking about this uh, total number that the state of Hawaii reports in terms of testing since we began. And there's two different numbers. One is from HIEMA, the uh, Hawaiian Emergency uh, Response National Guard of 207,000 people have been tested. And from the Department of Health, 275,000 that have been tested, which is a little bit of a discrepancy, by the way, which we haven't been able to really resolve at the moment. So we're kind of curious about uh, just another example of uh, how the information that's coming from our most important institutions on this have led us still into the dark and have no idea why these two figures are different. And so they have a different positivity as well. The positivity for Hyema is around 4.3%. You can't really tell from the Department of Health because they give you a, a moving average past seven days of 4.6. And um, that doesn't really make any sense because we think that the surge testing has been moved into the Department of Health, which makes it actually look artificially down. I don't know if this is the answer you're looking for, but I just, Scott, I just thought it was an opportunity because that's fresh on my mind. We just got through discussing it earlier to, uh, I jump in there and um, put that out there. 